Welcome to the exciting world of Phantom of the Opera. This classic movie from 1943 tells a timeless story about love, obsession, and mystery. You'll experience a roller coaster of emotions as you watch it. The story takes place in a big opera house in Paris. It follows a composer who is disfigured and lies in the shadows of the opera house. He becomes obsessed with a beautiful singer named Christine. This obsession leads to many twists and turns in the plot. You'll meet interesting characters like the Phantom, Christine, and Raoul. Each of them plays a role in the story. As you watch, think about which character you like the most. Maybe you'll be drawn to the Phantom's mysterious presence or Christine's lovely singing. We'd love to hear about your favorite parts of the movie or any memories you have related to it. Share them in the comments below. Get ready to enjoy the thrilling story of Phantom of the Opera. Don't miss out on any of the excitement. This version of Phantom of the Opera, released in 1943, is the fourth adaptation of the classic story that I've watched. As part of my exploration of various renditions, I revisited this film after seeing others and even attending the play. The plot revolves around an acid-scarred composer named Eric Clauden, portrayed by Claude Rains, who emerges from the Paris sewers to support his favorite opera understudy Christine Dubois, played by Susanna Foster. The story begins with the Paris Opera staging a performance of Marta, featuring lead actor Anatole Guerin, played by Nelson Eddy. Christine, the understudy, faces personal dilemmas torn between her opera career and a relationship with a police officer named Raoul Daubert, portrayed by Edgar Barrier. The film unfolds the complexities of Christine's choices and introduces key characters, including the stage manager Amiot, portrayed by J. Edward Bromberg, and the conductor Villeneuve, played by Frank Puglia. Arit Clauden, a struggling violinist, secretly supports Christine's vocal training financially. However, after an unfortunate encounter with the publisher Playle, portrayed by Miles Mander, and a subsequent acid attack, Arit transforms into the mysterious phantom haunting the Paris Opera House. His sole mission is to propel Christine to stardom, leading to conflicts with other cast members and a love triangle involving Raoul. One notable aspect is the reuse of the 1925 version set, presented in color for a grander visual experience. While the emphasis on stage performances adds to the pageantry, it occasionally feels like filler. Despite these variations, the film adheres to the classic phantom of the opera narrative. Claude Rain's portrayal of Eric provides a unique twist by making him a violinist with a shared hometown connection to Christine. The film, however, falls short in delivering the expected horror and phantom elements transitioning too quickly to the climax. The love triangle between Garen, Christine, and Raoul adds a touch of comedy, but sidelines the horror aspects. Performances by Nelson Eddy and Edgar Barrier as Christine suitors are solid, while Susanna Foster impresses with her singing despite limited character development. Claude Rain's depiction of Eriquet Phantom is noteworthy, even though the character takes a back seat during the focus on the love triangle. Cinematography effectively captures the grandeur of the opera house, utilizing shadows to enhance the Phantom's lair. The soundtrack complements the opera scenes, creating a genuine atmosphere. While light on effects, the Phantom's mass design stands out. In conclusion, this 1943 adaptation offers a solid take on the Phantom of the opera source material. It excels in capturing the opera ambience, but the emphasis on the love triangle may overshadow the horror elements. The film boasts strong acting, well-executed cinematography, and fitting music. Recommended for those exploring various adaptations of the classic novel or delving into universal classics. My rating 6 5 out of 10. In the movie Phantom of the Opera, Susanna Foster portrayed Christine Dubois, whose bronze sculpture was crafted by her co-star Nelson Eddy, a skilled sculptor. Eddie married Jessica Tandy, whom he met in 1940, the year before their wedding in 1942. Due to the complexities of copyright during World War II, the film only featured operas in the public domain. This decision stemmed from challenges in acquiring rights amidst wartime disruptions. To pay homage to the original novel's association with Faust, a public domain reference was made by having Christine appear in the Marguerite costume at the film's conclusion. In the movie, along with Esme V. Chaplin, He's one of only two actors who acted in both Murder and its German version Mary. He was part of Phi Mu Alpha Symphonia, a music group. Carrillo got married to Edith Shakespeare Heselbarth in 1940, and they had one child named Marie Antoinette. The movie mixes mystery, romance, and sadness, showing the story of Gaston LaRue's famous book. Through great acting and beautiful camera work, the story unfolds, showing the spooky tale of a musician with a disfigured face living under the Paris Opera House. 
The story explores themes like obsession, jealousy, and one-sided love, pulling viewers into a world of suspense. Carrillo's portrayal of the mysterious phantom adds layers to the character, leaving a strong impression on the audience. His excellent acting brings out the complicated feelings of the phantom, making people both sympathize and fear him. With its timeless plot and great acting, the 1943 version of Phantom of the Opera still interests viewers today, showing how powerful love is and what happens when desires go unchecked. The actor who portrayed the Phantom of the Opera in the 1943 movie developed a distinctive characterization. He was known for slapping his mouth with his palm to make a pop, sound showcasing both superiority and annoyance. This signature move first appeared in Four Jacks and a Jill. Additionally, he had a notable role as a Moroccan rug merchant in Casablanca, where he offered discounts to Rick's friends. He was also a member of the Kappa Alpha Society at McGill University in 1932. His portrayal of the Phantom, combined with his unique mannerisms, left a lasting impression on audiences. In 1998, when he appeared on PBS's Antiques Roadshow, his movie memorabilia collection caused a lot of excitement among fans and collectors. People were amazed at his distinct hairpiece and carefully crafted mustache, which were symbols of his memorable performances. The experts valued these items at around $50,000, showing how much people still love his movies. Before his successful film career, he surprised everyone by participating in the 1925 Miss America pageant, representing Miss Greater New York. This unexpected move hinted at his diverse talents and ambitions, giving a preview of the different roles he would play in his career. He became connected to California's history by acquiring Rancho Los Quiotes, a famous land-grant rancho in the beautiful landscapes of the state. This estate wasn't just a symbol of his success, it also became a special retreat where he could escape from the pressures of Hollywood and enjoy the peacefulness of nature. Through his various efforts, he made a lasting impact on entertainment, business, and culture reaching beyond the movie industry. His story continues to captivate and motivate, showing the lasting influence of his legacy. In a 1943 movie adaptation, Phantom of the Opera showcased a unique take on the classic tale. The movie depicted a mysterious figure lurking in the shadows of an opera house. Various characters encountered this enigmatic figure, each reacting differently to his presence. Tension rose as his obsession with a young soprano unfolded, leading to dramatic events within the opera house. Amidst the Phantom's haunting presence, the movie also explored the personal struggles of its characters, including fractured relationships and financial hardships. These human elements added depth to the storyline, connecting with audiences beyond the mysterious allure of the Phantom. In the years following its release, the movie gained recognition for its unique portrayal of the classic tale. Despite the passage of time, its influence on pop culture remained significant, inspiring various adaptations and interpretations across different mediums. The impact of Phantom of the Opera endures, reminding audiences of the timeless allure of its haunting tale and captivating characters.